11 Prime Movie, normally scheduled at this time, will not be seen tonight, so we can bring you the following special programs. I have spent the past eight years attempting to help people achieve and maintain their fitness goals with very little success. I'm not afraid to say that because I know it has nothing to do with my skill or experience as a coach and that any honest trainer will tell you it's typical to lose at least 10 clients for every one you keep. And even then, that client's likelihood of achieving and maintaining their goals long term is extremely slim. There are two main reasons this happens, and they are the reasons that fitness doesn't actually work at all. Well, it works the way it's supposed to work, but not for the consumer. A note on language. In using the word fitness, I am referencing the mindset, culture, and sales tactics that comprise the fitness industry. I am not inferring that pursuing health or engaging in appropriate exercise are inherently harmful, but rather that the culture and research around how we are instructed to participate in fitness are not only dangerous, but deeply and deliberately manipulative. What's your excuse? Why aren't you here pushing and pulling with the rest of us? The first reason is fat phobia, which on a larger scale is due to systemic anti-fatness. The goals we are encouraged to pursue are misguided from the start, sold under the guise of health and proven with studies that don't even include women or anyone from the global majority. These goals are inherently and intentionally unattainable, unhealthy, and literally based in white supremacy. I promise you're not alone in feeling betrayed. They really got me too. I bought and sold what they were selling for years. I really thought I was helping myself and that I could help others in believing that fitness was the answer. I was desperate for personal responsibility and discipline to be the magic key to finally existing without suffering. I was absolutely sure I was the only thing standing in my own way. And that brings us to reason number two, that people are largely incapable of reaching and maintaining their fitness goals. You're not the one in your way. Capitalism is. Here's you and here's death. And you want to increase that distance between you. There's something you can do in here that's called uh, workplace exercise. Time after time, I've worked with clients whose entire lives are dictated by their work schedules. No matter how perfect the workout is or how often they come to the gym, results and actual progress remain minimal. Chronic stress, lack of sleep, and zero time for non-sleep rest renders exercise futile at best and extremely harmful at worst. And if it's not a job, it's school or kids or a partner's job that's sucking the life out of all parties involved. It always comes back to not having enough time, enough energy, and more often than anything else, enough money to put genuine effort into their actual health and happiness. This is by design. I know, not enough time or too expensive. There's a million excuses. I used to put it off, but when you start getting soft and putting it on, excuses don't help. Fitness is not supposed to make us happy or even healthy. It is supposed to make us feel inadequate with a side of, if I just push myself a little harder, I can get there. The fitness industry keeps us believing it's possible by convincing us that no, actually, I'm the problem. I just don't want it bad enough. It's simple. I am just weak. I have felt utterly useless as a trainer for so long because so many people come to me hoping a fresh landscape will reduce their misery even though the roof of their home is caving in and the kitchen is on fire. Good lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis. But because fitness told them a fancy new front yard will fix the problems inside the house, as a coach, I have been instructed by authority to just help them start the lawnmower, prune the roses, and for the love of God, don't mention the crumbling foundation. I'm ready to say fuck that, tear it all down, and rebuild from the ground up. Who's with me?